Welcome to episode 70 of Pink's Picks Book Recs. Commentary from a sort of retired English teacher. Today I'm going to be discussing new genres for me, the graphic novel and graphic memoirs. The impetus for my initiation is the IBHL Literature Paper 1, an assessment for the higher level International Baccalaureate Senior English class that I teach. Because this category was only relatively recently added to the curriculum, a mere two authors appear on IB's list, Allison Bechdel and Chris Ware. As IB allows a little attitude for school's free choice, I added Marjane Satrapi and George Toke for consideration. So I'm going to introduce each of the four, then reveal which title I chose to teach and why. Persepolis, a story of a childhood and fun home, a family tragicomic, are coming of age memoirs. They Called Us Enemy is centered around a single historical event and its aftermath. Rusty Brown is a fictitious collected collection of four separate but overlapping narratives. Time Magazine best summarized Fun Home as a coming out story, an examination of the complex relationship we can have with our parents and the role of art and literature in processing our lives. Some of my favorite quotes in this Pennsylvania set memoir are, one, I've been upstaged, demoted from protagonist in my own drama to comic relief in my parents' tragedy. Two, but in a way, Gatsby's pristine books and my father's worn ones signify the same thing. Preference of fiction to reality. And Watergate was coming to a head. I got my period. This juxtaposition of the last days of childhood with those of Nixon in the end of that larger national innocence may seem trite, but it was only one of many heavy-handed plot devices to befall my family during those strange, hot months. In Persepolis, Satrapi not only tells her own story from ages 6 to 14 as the only child of committed Marxists and the great-granddaughter of one of Iran's last emperors, but she also pays homage to those who fought, suffered, and fled during the Islamic Revolution. She writes, an entire nation should not be judged by the wrongdoings of a few extremists. Here, here. They called us enemy is Toke's first-hand account of those years behind barbed wire in Japanese internment camps. The joys and terrors of growing up under legalized racism, his mother's hard choices, his father's faith in democracy, and the way those experiences planted the seeds for his astonishing future. Rusty Brown reflects the 20-year effort of Chris Ware. Set in Nebraska from the 1970s to the 2000s, Rusty is named for one of the characters in Ware's four intersecting stories. Only the last one, Joanne Cole, was previously unpublished. We meet Rusty, eight-year-old Rusty, in the introduction, followed by his middle-aged teacher father, William Brown, then the school bully, Jordan Lent, and finally, William's sole African-American colleague, Joanne. The Guardian calls this piece a treasure trove of invention, with its awe-inspiring exploration of regret and aging, anxiety, and ennui. I love all four of these books for a variety of reasons. And when a teacher authentically adores a book, 
Her enthusiasm is almost palpable and infectious. But there's far more to consider when choosing curriculum than my adoration. So which did I choose? In fourth place is Rusty Brown. At 344 pages, it is too long, unwieldy. Can you imagine carrying this around in a backpack? too expensive at $18. Further, the pages aren't numbered, so in order to discuss the piece, kids would have to manually paginate them. In third place is my personal favorite, Fun Home. At 232 pages and under $13, it is the perfect length and price. Bechdel's use of higher level vocabulary makes me salivate as do her allusions, literary, historical, mythical, cultural, everything this English teacher could hope for. And the story's been adapted to the Broadway stage. But I feel like breaking into a Lady Gaga song here. I only need one good reason to, in this case, stay away. Frames depicting Bechdel's burgeoning sexuality as well as an autopsy being performed. Her father was a part-time mortician as well as a high school English teacher. The, these frames are far too graphic for consumption in my public high school classroom. In second place is Persepolis. It's $13 price tag and 153 pages make the cost and length great. However, if I had to guess why neither Citropy or Art Spiegelman's Mouse don't appear on Ivy's list, both have probably been overtaught, which can ultimately affect exam performances and subsequent assessments. So the winner is, dum dum da dum they called us enemy. Though it is considered young adult, the content is still meaty enough to provide for deep discussion and analysis. It is 204 pages and also $13. Plus, Toke's appeal as an actor and human rights activist will resonate with my students. Next time, I'll be discussing two highly acclaimed young adult novels, One of Us is Lying and The Last Night at the Telegraph Club. Until then, enjoy your summer and do your assigned reading. Bye-bye.